Okay, this is a short video on how to use the pop-up module, which is an optional module that you can get based on request. And the way that it works is, is you can build yourself out a Divi section that looks just like this with an image, some text, the social media module, and then a button. And then when either the button is clicked on or the image is clicked on, then there is a pop-up. This is what the pop-up looks like. And this is all configurable. But this is the way that you can take a small section like this, in this particular case, laid out for six of these different profiles. And you can put the bulk of the information in here in the pop-up so that people don't get a whole bunch of mess up on the screen. So we're going to take a look at this. Now let's come over here to the back end. Now the way that the pop-up module works is this is just your standard Divi section and column right here. And you've got an image, you've got text, you've got social media, and you've got buttons. These are all just common modules inside of Divi. And then you've got this section down here, which is the actual pop-up itself. And this is the image, and this is the text, which is standard Divi as well. So there's actually two pieces that go together. There's the piece that you're going to display with the actual link to click on. And then it's going to pop up a, a whole section based on some links that we're going to talk about. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to come over here to the image, which is right here. We're going to go ahead and click on the gear. And this is just a standard image module. The difference is in the link, the link says Mark Ginn. So, and it's got a pound sign in the beginning and there's no spaces in the name. So how does this correlate down here on the bottom? When you come down to the bottom, you click on the gear for the section. And when you pull it up, you'll see there's a new tab up here called pop-up. So we're going to click on the pop-up tab and then we're going to click on the general tab and we're going to make sure the button that says a pop-up is turned on. And then there's the ID and here's his name. So previously the only thing that was different was, is in the beginning was the button has an actual hashtag in it, which is telling the HTML, go find his name down here. That's how the pop-up right here is linked to the button or the image in this particular case. We'll look at the button here. It's going to say the same thing. So that's how the two are linked together. So every pop-up display that you build is going to have the standard Divi and then it's going to have a new section that's linked to the standard Divi and inside the new section is going to be standard Divi again. This is just an image module and a text module. So now that we're in here, let's make a copy of this column right here. And we're going to create a new profile right here with a new pop-up. So we're going to come over to the row. We're going to click on the gear. And now you see that there's six columns here. And these are the six columns associated underneath here. So we're going to delete the last one, which is empty. And then we're going to come to the first one and we're going to hit copy. And then we're going to hit update. So now it made a copy of that whole column right here for the second one. Now we need to associate a link to a new pop-up. So we're going to come over here and click pop-up. Now for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to use some Latin text and we're going to go ahead and make this real quick. So I'm just going to walk you through it. We're going to go to the image. We're going to go find a new image. We're going to come down here. Let's see if we can find a new profile. Uh, he looks good. I'm not sure who he is. We'll upload his image and we'll hit save. We'll come over here to the text and we're going to type in some new text. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in just a basic excerpt. Uh, we'll go ahead and shorten that up a little bit. So that this right here that we're editing is this text right here. So we want to keep that kind of short. So we'll go ahead and hit save. I'm not going to mess with the social media stuff. That's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll come over here to the button and we're going to leave it as read more. Now, the first thing we need to do is come down here to the new pop-up. We're going to come over to the section. We're going to give a pop-up name to the image and to the button. So I'm going to come up here. We're going to highlight his name. 
This is just for identification purposes. It doesn't have anything to do with the pop-up. We'll click on here. We'll come to the link and we'll change the link name. Leave the uh, hashtag in there. To Joe Dirt and say, okay. So now we're gonna come down to the button because we have a button in here. We're gonna leave it as read more. We're gonna click on here, leave the hashtag in. Call it Joe Dirt and say, okay. We're gonna go ahead and for identification, we're gonna rename this to Joe Dirt so we know which one is which. Now we have to go change the image down here. And this is what shows up in the pop-up. So we'll, we'll put this guy back in, say upload. So we duplicated a column. We went through and we changed the text inside the column. We came over here and duplicated the pop-up itself. We changed the information there. I don't think we changed the text in here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Hit OK, and then we'll publish. And then we'll come back over here, hit reload. So there he is. We got him in here. We've got the text. We didn't update the social media, but that's pretty easy. And then we got the read more. When you click on the read more, now we get the right person, Mr. Joe Dirt, and we have his information. So that's all there is to the actual pop-up module itself. Now, how are we gonna make this a little bit easier if we have a bunch of these to do? So we've got our temp we've got our modules here. We're gonna take one of these and we're gonna turn it into a template and then we're gonna save it to the system. So we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this whole row for right now. So I'm gonna click the copy. So we have two rows in there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this column and I'm gonna do it through this system right here. So this is the one that we just added. So remove it and I'll go ahead and add a blank one down there to keep our six columns so everything stays consistent. So now we have Mark there. I'm gonna go ahead and take all these columns out because we're gonna just save one of these profiles as a template. I'm gonna come back to the row and click on the gear to remove all the columns. So we're gonna just leave the one and we're gonna remove this down to just one column. So that's what it looks like here. So we have Mark here. We'll go ahead and close this because this is our work that we're working on. And then we have our pop-ups. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the Joe Dirt one for right now, because we're gonna use this pop-up as the template. So we have Mark here, and then we have our template down here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this all together. So now we have just the one profile and the one pop-up. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and call this the bio template and then we have the bio pop-up. Now we don't need the section, we just need the row, but down here we need the actual section. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this row to the library. We're gonna call this bio template. And we're gonna come down here and hit save. Then I'm gonna to come to this section and I'm gonna hit save to library. Bio pop-up, save to library. So now we have this row and this section. So how do I use that again? So let's come over here and we're gonna hit add a new page. Go ahead and click the Divi Builder. Go ahead and click Start Building. Now remember, the template was a row. So we're already on the Insert a Row. Instead of hitting a new row and picking one of these, we're gonna say Add from Library. And this is gonna show us all the rows in the library. Now I like changing it over to the list. So I'm gonna click on the title, Bio Template. It's gonna ask me, what do I want to do? I'm going to say use this row. 
and now I have my bio template included. So the next thing I need is my pop-up. So I'm going to come over here. Now this is a section. So we're going to click on the section. And instead of new section, we're going to say add from library. And now here is our bio pop-up. We're going to say use this section. And now I have the bio loaded into my page. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my columns. In this particular case, we're going to select six. And now we have six columns and one bio. It's just that simple. Now, if we're ready to add another bio, if we're ready to add another bio to this section, we're going to go ahead and click the row icon, add from library, bio template, use this row, and we just added this row right here. So now I'm going to drag and drop these four right up here and then put them in order. Now I have my four in order. I can get rid of this template and then I can go in and start editing. And then if I need to add another one, I come back to add a row, add from library, the bio template, use this row, and now I have them here again. So I can take and drag this over. and then I can delete. If I know I'm gonna fill up all six of these, I don't have to add from library every time. I can just take the template that I first loaded. I can come over to the gear. I can remove the last three, because see, these last three here are empty. So I'll come back to the gear. So one, two, three, I'm gonna get rid of these three. And then copy copy and copy. Now I have my six again, can hit update and then I can go and I can make all the changes that I need to and then they'll show up over here. So that's how I get the templates in. Now as far as the bios are concerned, I come down and get the section, add from library, bio pop-up, use this section and it's going to load. Now that I know that I'm doing six, I already have two. I can hit three, four, five, and six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And to keep things a little more simple and less clutter, I can close all the ones that I'm not working on and then come in and change these. I can say bio one, bio two, bio three, Bio 4, Bio 5. I got it messed up because I forgot the first one. So I'm going to take the one that's still a blank, drag it all the way down to the bottom, come up to here, Bio 6. So now I have those closed. I have all my names. I can start with the second Bio. give it a name. I can come down to bio two and give it a name. I can go to bio one, which is Mark, give it a name and off we go. Now, as a point of reference, these do not have to be in any specific order. You just have to make sure that you come inside here and you change the information. There's the pop-up, there's the general, make sure it's on, give it a proper name. That's it, that's all there is to it. 
Now, here's a bonus tip. We can come back over here. If we know that Mark, well, let's just make it simple. If we know that Joe is going to be used in a variety of different places, we can come back over here. We can duplicate this row. So there's the one we're going to keep. This is the one we're going to send to the library. We're going to go ahead and remove column one and then the last columns. So we're going to click on the gear. We're going to remove column one. That puts Joe on top. We're going to remove three, four, five, and six. And say OK. So now it's just Joe Dirt. So when I hit the three dots to add to library, we say save to library. We give it a name. We'll call this one Joe Dirt. And this time, we're going to come down here and say Save as Global. And then we're going to hit Save to the Library. This is all going to turn green. So now we can use this in the library. If I come back over here, I come Add from Library. Joe Dirt is now global. So I can add him to the list. And now any time that you edit a global item, it doesn't matter where this is located throughout the website, on different pages, posts, products, wherever it is, when you edit one, it automatically edits all of them. So if you know you're going to use Joe Dirt multiple times, make him a global item, go into the system, add it in the variety of different areas that you want it, and then if you have a change, you just go into one of them. It doesn't matter which one. You go into any one of them. You click on whatever it is that you need to change, and when you hit update, your whole website will update at the same time. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. This is a little bit deeper than some of the videos that we normally do, but this is a very powerful tool that will make or break your website when it comes to a lot of content.